Smoky ribs with sweet barbecue sauce are a constant on Planet Barbecue. Our Chino Latino version features a Chinese spice rub, Japanese sake spray, and sweet Caribbean guava barbecue sauce. Step number one, make the rub. It starts with sugar, to which you'll add Chinese mustard, Chinese five spice powder, which is an Asian spice mix, the predominant flavoring of which is star anise. Next, add freshly ground black pepper, a couple tablespoons, and a couple tablespoons of coarse sea salt. And mix these ingredients together with your fingers, lets you break up any lumps in the mustard powder. Okay, now for the ribs. We're using baby back ribs for this preparation. The baby back is cut from high on the hog next to the backbone. If you're new to ribs, the baby back is a great rack to start with. It's intrinsically tender, generously marbled, so it always comes out succulent every time. So what you wanna do is sprinkle the ribs with the rub. I like to work up high above the ribs so I get good dispersal and then gently massage the spices into the meat. Come and do the other side the same way. So once again, sprinkle the ribs with the rub. And then I'm just gonna wash my hands. To smoke the ribs, I'm using a big green egg extra large. I set it up with a bed of charcoal in the bottom. I interspersed it with cherry wood chunks so that as the charcoal burns, it will ignite the wood, give us a nice smoke flavor. And there is a heat deflector, also known as a convector plate, over the fire. This will keep the dripping fat from the ribs from catching fire when they hit the coals. So next, place the ribs on the cooker rounded side up, two and three, and you wanna leave uh, at least an inch between each rack so you get good circulation of the heat and smoke. 275 degrees, we're gonna go for about three hours. Open the bottom vent slightly, open the top vent slightly. This will increase the airflow, more oxygen, hotter fire. One thing about these ceramic cookers, they can go from a very low temperature to a very high temperature in a very short amount of time. The barbecue sauce is based on this fruit, guava. It's a tropical fruit, intensely aromatic that grows throughout the Caribbean and in South Florida. And I'll show you what the inside looks like. It's got this wonderful coral color. The problem is it's just loaded with these seeds. So most often the pulp is boiled down with sugar to make guava paste, and that's what we're going to use in the barbecue sauce. So we start with guava paste, tomato paste, rice wine or sake. Then we have soy sauce for that salty umami flavor, Worcestershire sauce for tang, chopped fresh ginger, garlic, and a scallion. Now add a little water to thin these ingredients down and a very generous splash of dark rum. And we'll simmer these ingredients, whisking steadily to obtain a smooth, creamy, fragrant barbecue sauce. So bring the sauce to a rolling boil, then reduce the heat to a gentle simmer and simmer the sauce until thick, dark, concentrated, and intensely flavorful. This will take about 15 minutes. Mmm. May need a little touch of acidity, and for that, I'll add a few drops of lime juice. We're two hours into the cook. You can see the ribs are really coming along nicely. Beautiful brown color. What I like to do now is spray the ribs with sake. And this will give you an extra layer of flavor. 
and it also helps keep the ribs moist. So we'll close the grill. Another hour and a half to two hours of cooking and we'll be in business. It's been just shy of four hours and check out the ribs. They look great. How do you know they're done? Well, if you look at the ends of the rib bones here, you can see the meat has shrunk back by about a half an inch. So the last thing I like to do is open the bottom vent up wide, bring in some heat, brush the ribs with some of the barbecue sauce, and then we'll actually roast the sauce right into the meat. Okay, and what you'll do now, close the grill lid, open the vent up wide. We wanna bring up the temperature and sort of another five to 10 minutes, just roast that sauce right into the meat. Check it out, man. Is that not poetry on the grill? We'll put one here and one rack here. And this rack will be for me. Now, carve the ribs into individual bones. You see the cleaver just glides through the meat. So I'll just take a few ribs, a little spoonful of our guava barbecue sauce. And now my favorite moment. Mm. The ribs are smoky tender, and you've got that sweet, musky, exotic taste of the guava. These are really nice. Mm.